Hi Yogis, Carlene Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are doing a Rock Your Balances flow. So I figured we would start in our most uh, prominent balance that we use, standing. So we're going to really be focusing on building strength in like our ankles, calves, knees, the muscles that we use as our foundation for all of our standing balancing postures. We'll do a little bit of strengthening for our uh, wrists and forearms as well in terms of building up our, our foundational strength for arm balances, but mostly we're focusing on standing. So we'll start in mountain pose, obviously our primary standing position that we use. <laughs> so come to a comfortable position here with your feet. You don't need to worry about them being like perfectly aligned. You want them to be comfortably grounded into the earth with knees and toes in line. And start with just kind of a slight bend in your knees. You need to lift up your toes for a second and think about grounding into the earth with the heels of your feet and then the two balls under your big toe and little toe. And then you can think about lifting up through the arch of your foot. You don't want your to be gripping onto the mat with your toes when you're doing balancing postures. You want the strength to be coming from the foundation of your actual foot. So you're a padabanda there. So you're gonna ground into the earth and then think about lifting in and up, all the way lifting up from the arch, lifting up through your um, muscles along the shin and then inner thighs and all the way up through your spinal muscles, extending tall through the crown of your head. And then you can let your toes gently rest on the floor from here. And we can just start by reaching our fingertips towards the earth and start activating our mula bandha breath that's gonna help develop our core strength. So inhale, and of course, it's just a good breath to use during yoga. So inhale here, think about inhaling in a 360 direction all the way around your belly. And exhale, squeeze the air in and out, kind of like you're squeezing from the bottom of the toothpaste, and exhale through your nose. You want to have that big ujjayi sound, a victorious sound, almost like you're trying to fog up a mirror, but your mouth is closed, so you're exhaling through your nose. So inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. And then keep that breath through the entire practice. I'm going to take a step back here to the back of the mat uh, and turn to the side so you can see what we're doing. So I want you to inhale, reach all the way up, and exhale, bend your knees really deep, coming into a forward fold. Then from here, just finding that first edge of stretch. Now, we haven't warmed up really, so our legs you know, probably aren't going to be straight. So just finding that edge of stretch, just being comfortable with wherever that is and then wave back and forth. So there's a little bit of movement in the legs, starting to wake them up. And then from here, deep bend in your knees and you're going to walk yourself forward. So coming onto your toes, walking yourself forward into a plank position. Inhale here, extending long through the spine. You're gonna slight bend in your elbows and exhale, wave yourself back to downward facing dog. Now you can start pedaling out your feet here, getting a little bit of movement and more in the backs of the legs, starting to wake up your calf muscles. Then from here, slight bend in your knees and elbows. Wave yourself forward, a lot of motion from your spine. Bend your elbows and exhale, way back. And last time, bending knees and elbows, wave yourself forward. Inhale here and exhale, waving back to down dog, creating a lot of space in your neck and shoulders for your, your head. You don't want to be crushing your neck or your ears, so create a lot of space and then pressing back into down dog. Very nice. Well, let's get into our balancing, our strengthening for our balancing. So inhale here, slide bending your knees and elbows to prepare. Right leg lifts, so you're gonna exhale. A lot of bending your knees and elbows now, create space to really lift your right knee in and up. From here, we're kind of already balancing. I mean, we're only on the <laughs> three of our, our limbs. So step your right foot to your right thumb. Inhale here, prepare a long spine. Bend your back knee. And really think about grounding into the earth again with your foot like we did and lifting yourself in and up, coming into a high lunge. So in 
into that pose for a moment. Now you're going to lean yourself forward, again really grounding into the earth with your right foot, and step your left foot up to meet the right. Now you do want feet about hip bone distance apart here, so we're coming into a chair, our chair pose. You don't want your knees moving forward, you really want to think about sitting back into your sits bones and into your heels. So we've got that Padabandha again, that trifecta inner foot that we started with, really grounding into the earth, sitting back into our heels, back into our sits bones, and then waving the spine long, lifting in and up your front low belly, and coming into your chair. Now from here, we're gonna try a bit of a challenge. So this is how we're gonna build strength in our foundation for our balances. So you're going to come onto your tiptoes. Woo! Not easy. <laughs> just do a few rounds of that, just very slow, controlled movement. We're not working off momentum here. And sitting back into our heels each time and lifting onto our toes. And the last one here. Awesome. Inhale, stand for a moment. Exhale, sit back into chair. Woo, feeling it already. We lift in and up through that right leg so that the left knee can lift and step yourself back to your high lunge. Huge balance challenge there. Exhale, hands come to the earth. Right foot steps you back to downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet. Notice the difference in that one leg already. <laughs> so we'll try on the left side. So inhale here, prepare. Left leg lifts. Now big bend in your knees and elbows to create space to lift that left knee in and up. Creating core strength and step the left foot to the left thumb. Inhale here, prepare long spine. Bend your back knee, really ground into the earth again and lift yourself in and up to your high lunge. Lean yourself forward, we're gonna come back into our chair pose, so stepping the right foot up to the left, settling into our chair. And this time we're gonna do something a little bit different. So really ground into the earth with your left foot, and you're just going to lift your right knee up for just a moment, and then step it back, and then lift, Step it back. Woo, left leg is on fire. Just two more of this. Really building strength here in our feet and ankles. Now we'll do it on the left, or on the other side. So ground into the earth with your right foot. Left leg lifts. You're just bringing the knee up just a little bit. We're really focusing on building strength in our foundation of the leg. And last one. Ooh, very nice. Inhale here, lift. Stretch out for a moment. Exhale. Sit back into your chair. Right leg lifts. You're grounding to the earth with your left foot. Balancing as you step back to your high lunge. Inhale here for a moment. Exhale. Steps you back to down dog. Very nice. Pedaling out your feet. Now from here, inhale. Inhale, bending your knees and elbows. Exhale, wave yourself to plank. This time, come onto your knees. You're gonna lower through chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Exhale, rule yourself in and up. And exhale into child's pose. A well-deserved moment of rest. Take a moment to catch your breath and Get back into your mula bunda breath if it's gone anywhere. And from here, roll yourself in and up. We're coming onto hands and knees. Now we're gonna talk about our hand foundation for just a moment. So we have Pada Bandha, that is our foot lock into the earth when we're grounding into the earth with our feet. And then we have Asta Bandha with our hands. So you really wanna think about fingertips being the strength. <laughs> That's where you're gonna grip the most onto the earth so we got strong fingertips, strong fingers, strong ring of palm, and then almost no weight on your heel. And kind of how we were lifting up through the arch of our feet, you want to lift up through the arch of your hands just a little. So we start with strong fingertips, ground onto the earth. We're going to come onto our tiptoes here. We're going to start by bending our elbows. Again, create that space and momentum. As you inhale and exhale, really just lift your knees just, you know, an inch off the ground. 
and think about that foundational lifting and strength from your hands. And that comes up through your forearm, really lifting and using our deep core muscles to create that lift there. So inhale, exhale, few more rounds of this. And last one, this time as you lift, hold it for a moment and exhale, press yourself back to your downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet again. We're gonna take our balancing challenge just a little bit further. So inhale here, prepare, right leg lifts. Exhale, lift into your chest. Step your right foot to right thumb. Inhale here, prepare long spine. Bend your back knee to roll yourself in and up to high lunge. Lean yourself forward, come into your chair. See tons of balancing already just from all that movement. Now from here, we're gonna come onto our tiptoes again, but we're going to come to stand. So a little bit more of a challenge with that move. So as you inhale, or exhale, whichever is more comfortable, come onto your toes, then sit back to your heels. And I like to do this with bringing fists of fire to my low belly. Helps create a little bit more energetic movement in the arms and a little bit of an extra balance challenge. Again, we're doing slow, controlled movement here. We don't want to use momentum or falling or anything. Awesome. Inhale. This time, stretch up. Exhale. Sit back to chair. Lift in and up your left leg lift so you can step back to your high lunge. Exhale. Hands to the earth. Really lift that knee in and up as you step back to plank. And we'll try an extra challenge on our left side. So inhale here, prepare. Left leg lifts. Exhale, step forward. Left foot to left thumb. Inhale here, prepare long spine. Bending your back knee again, rolling in and up. Lean yourself forward, grounding to the earth with that left foot. Right foot steps forward to chair. Now for our kind of different variation of the challenge. So you're going to step your right foot back just a little bit. So just step behind you and you're going to lift the knee up. And again, I like to move my arms, get that fist of fire to the belly. Last one, come back to chair, ground into the earth now with the right foot, left leg, step back just a little bit. All of our strength really is still on the right leg and then do those knee lifts. Last two, huge challenge here. Step back into chair, inhale, lift up. Last time, sit back into your chair pose. This time, ground to the earth with the left foot, right knee lifts as you step yourself with controlled movement back to high lunge. And exhale, back to downward facing dog. Very nice, now from here, inhale, arms and knees then. Wave yourself to plank, lower into the earth, come through your chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare as you roll yourself in and up, and back to your child's pose. Another very well-deserved child's pose. You can rock back and forth if that feels good, or just melt into the mat, settle into this resting position for a couple more breaths. We'll try our Astabanda challenge just a little bit deeper this time. So coming up into a plank, and we're going to put a little bit more motion to our strength. So we have our strong foundation in the, our hands, the so strong fingertips, strong palms, bending knees and elbows here, and lift up, this time coming to a pointed plank. Now you can stay on your hands and knees if you preferred that, or you can add this extra challenge. So think about again, lifting in and up for your arms and your core. And last one. Now from here, walk your feet forward. We're gonna come to a forward fold. So start with bent knees, inhale, wave your spine long, exhale.
exhale. And from here, coming to that first edge of stretch. Knees might be a little bit straighter now that we've worked our hard legs so much. And again, you can wave back and forth. You can also kind of pedal out and walk out your legs from here. Start bending one knee more and putting the other one a bit straighter. Stretch out all of the leg muscles we just used so much. Come back to your forward fold. And from here, making your way to the mat, coming onto your back for your final resting pose. You can hug your knees into your chest, circle them one way and then the other. Once your feet are back on the ground, you can windshield wipe your legs. It's one of my favorite ways to end the yoga practice. Get a good stretch and a good asana massage. And Yogi's Choice Moment, if you need any other stretches uh, for any of the you know, work that we did, we did get pretty intense into our legs, feel free to take that now. You can also massage out your forearms and get a little bit of traction, uh, rotating your wrists as we did a bit of, you know, strengthening on our hands too. So take those moments that you need, stretch out any areas where you might feel any tension still, and then settle onto the mat. And stay here for a few minutes, really settling into this new alignment that you have and then all of that strength that we just cultivated, fill your body and really get ready for the rest of your day. So hope you enjoyed that balancing practice. I definitely look forward to practicing with you again soon. So do make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel, get notifications when the new videos come up. And I have exclusive content for you on the League of Nerd Yogi's email list. So make sure you're signed up there as well. Namaste.